Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast Special Edition Gears 5 Spoiler Cast. Dun, dun, dun. Sitting aside for me, of course, Mr. Alex. I like dum dums. Yeah, he's eating a dum dum. I don't know why. It's a um, cotton candy one, man. I have a. I'm not a huge fan of lollipops. I like them fine. If I'm gonna eat a snack, it's gonna be savory. I'm just gonna say, it. or it's gonna be like something really sweet, like a cake. That's too. Sweet. Maybe a pie. Yeah, that's okay. I love pie. I like pie. What's your favorite pie? I think mine. Apple. I think it's, it's between Classic. apple and, and see, some people are so against it because it's all it's it just it does who's so against m- an apple pie? No, 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 not, not apple pie. Oh, okay. The one I'm about to say is okay. because they overdo it with everything. Okay. Pumpkin pie. But I like pumpkin. That's pie. That's a close second. But like the, that's the, the it's one good. Two, it is good. It's amazing. Yeah, but like everybody people over, argue, it's like oh, it's Thanksgiving over, food yeah. is so good. But like, why don't you have it every year? It's like because I'm a glutton and I would <laughs> eat it all the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, uh, by the way, back to the Thanksgiving <laughs> podcast we were doing. <laughs> uh, this is a special edition. We're doing a Gears 5 spoiler cast. We're just going to go over everything about Gears 5, everything we liked about it, everything we maybe not liked about it. If you like this, please go over to uh, the podcast services and YouTube every Friday. That's when we go live. You go over, give us five stars, give us all the good reviews, give us five Androids, five SoundClouds, five um, Apples. Who and Nannies. Five hoot nannies, of course, says Alex. So well we put it. Um, okay. If you like our content even more than that, please go over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. Give us the buck. Helps us out so much. Shows us support. Remember, we're doing a special. If we get to 50 or 100, I don't know, however much a Chum Lee costume has, we'll buy a Chum Lee costume and dress up as Chum Lee yep. uh, as uh, a show of, um, I guess you could say, patronage towards Miss... Kuko? Kyoko. Kyoko. I think so. Yeah. And if you don't know, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, then you guys go towards episode 14 and we talk about what Ooh, what that was about. Gentlemen, he knew the number and everything. I'm over here like, oh yeah, that's a good point. Bring up what we're talking about. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah, you guys go check it out. Mm-hmm. Now, if you guys haven't played Gears 5 and you don't like spoilers, do not listen to this until you finish it. Clearly. Please don't. Yep. And if you do listen to this without spoilers, leave your life, I guess. Yeah. Right? I, I respect you. you. I respect you. I ain't going to tell you what you do. I, I respect mama. you. All right, let's get into this, Alex. Gears Five, so good. You liked it, yes. I loved it as well. Yes, I, I, I had a good, fantastic time from beginning to end. Yep, loved it. Surprisingly, no technical issues. I'm playing Borderlands Three right now, not to date the video, but I'm playing Borderlands Three right now, mm-hmm. and I'm having a lot of technical issues. I'm not having any with. I did not have any with Gears Five, and that was yeah. awesome. The only time I had an issue. Is when I was trying to join your game that first or second day. So the very first day, that's a good point. The very first day we did have server issues, yeah. but we were able we to were, connect after yeah. four or five times. I yeah, think. it was just because, well, not even, I think it was like three times. I mean, just because it was acting weird. I mean, yeah, everybody was load. jumping on. Yeah, yeah. Server but load. other than that, after a while, it was good. Perfect. Um, I think, I, uh, ooh, um, did one of us crash? I think one, one of us crashed one time. I don't remember which one. So it's not... An, entirely true yeah, i didn't I, have technical issues i can't remember who it was i, I think like most it of me, it was server know. not actual game so no fringing no frame rate issue yeah the f- like frame rate was good everything. alex mm. the frame rate beautiful yes oh my god 60 frames you can feel those 60s smooth f- frame <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that. it felt beautiful though it felt nice oh my god that opening cinematic where jd's slowly coming down you looking around see all the light yep. lighting up the green vegetation you look out to that mm-hmm. nice pail of water of course in that water as you guys know maybe you don't a little easter egg here if you use your scan ability in the water you will get a little message from the coalition the people who made the game that says thanks for playing that's cool it's a little easter egg in there yeah um, again put that little thing you look at the water and it'll show the message for you if you use drone scan Hmm. It's just a thank you message. I thought that was really nice. And then you go into the corridors, eventually going into the sewers, which we hit another Easter at Alex. Mm. If you shoot um, four valves that's around um, a hole on top of the wall, you will get a fish on a stick. I don't huh. know what it does. It's like an axe. Mm. Um, I guess this is some in-dev joke. I'm sure when they did it, they thought it was hilarious. I don't get it, but hey, good for them. So I have a quick article, just really quick. Okay. Um, said uh from uh Elijah Beam over at uh, Escapist magazine. Okay. He said Gears Five learned from the failures of Dead Space and Halo. Interesting. Yep. 
uh, says Gears ha- Gears Five has been a significant win for Microsoft. The game has been nearly universal, universally hailed as a major step forward toward the Gears of War series. But many as of its bold new features are built of the bones of the past failures. In fact, Gears Five is a amalgam of lessons learned from two of the modern games m- gaming's most division. Divis- div- oh, excuse me. Divisive. Thank you. Divisive titles: Dead Space Three and Halo Five Guardians. And huh. then it, it just continues on about well, like each one and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty this cool. This game nails a lot. Yeah, it does. It nails atmosphere. It nails overall story. Mm-hmm. It nails fluidity. The gunplay. Fluidity is a great way of thinking, right? It, uh, it may have made my favorite gun period in all games the gear, uh, the Mark III Lancer mm-hmm. with the GL on it, the grenade God. launcher. It's I think so it feels ac- so good. It's, it's so accurate. Like so compared good. to. So since since there's three lancers, there's the regular one, mm-hmm. the chain retro, call, the uh, yeah, there's the retro, and just now, lancer is what's the second one's called. Okay, yeah, the one with the chainsaw. Yeah, yeah. So that one, the retro, and then the new GL. Yep. I tried using that retro. That thing recoils. Very, yeah. very recoils. Oh, goodness. Rough. The lance the regular one, it's pretty good. It's awesome. This new one, like I can tell, oh, the accuracy is so much it's better. It's so tight. You just shoot. Yeah. It's like a laser almost. Mm-hmm. And then. The pop of a headshot, Alex. That's so satisfying. Yeah. Like they nailed the feel. Every time I go to reload, I hit that active reload, and then immediately shoot someone. You get yep. the pop, and you're like, yeah, you feel so accomplished. Yep. Um, getting real quick into it because I'm not gonna wait. <laughs> we had a a decision to make in this game. You, ladies My and gentlemen, God. know the decision well if you play through the game. JD or Dale. I would love your guys' explanation oh. and choices. Twitter at EV1000. Tell me all. Tell me the reason. Tell me why you picked them. Uh, you can even do it in the comment section below if you'd like. It's up to you. It's but, so, so hard to make that decision. So me and Alex were playing through this. We played it through each side. So we, originally, uh, I'm going to tell the full mm-hmm. story. Okay, originally, we hit this point late at night, about 1 o'clock. I had to get up early in the morning. <laughs> yep. So we're like, we got to call it. I was like, we'll call it after the next cutscene yep. or after the next chapter hit. It, it, that fight ends and you hit the cutscene and then the mother comes out, yep. grabs JD Dell, and then it says choose and she picks and, a knife. And, that, up, and, and yeah, like, and it's no you way. because I, you're playing as I was Kate, playing as Kate the whole was, time. And yeah, and then at Del. first I was playing as Dell, mm-hmm. but then the cutscene hit. I was like, I at first I can't see the decision because yeah. you got to do it. Yeah, dude, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I look back and forth and then I picked Dell. Split second, just seeing what would happen. Because oh. I was like, no. I literally said to you, no way. Yeah. Hit, save Dell. JD, oh. dead. I, did, I, I was didn't like, think that was going to no happen. No way they did it. I didn't. I called their bluff. I was like, no way. And, and they snapped for some reason, his I neck thought, in front of us. For some reason, I thought they would do the whole thing. Like, you know, I, you know, you pick Dell, but then something happens that they both live. But then the other one notices, it's like, like oh, you that? saved him. Yeah. So I was like, what, what, why? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But no. Just straight neck break. You see his face and just le- falls. Fall in. The ground breaks and you just f- see his body fall into an abyss and you, or like just the cracked yep. earth and you don't see the body ever yep. again. Like yep. what? That was insane. And before we even went back, I was like, we got to quit here. We paused we'll, it. Well, we paused it right as he died and we're like, I'm not in a state to answer this. Fluent. So I spent the whole next day thinking about the decision who I'd pick. Yep. And we settled on Dell narratively making the most sense to pick. He's with you the whole game. He's your best friend, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, All the good stuff. Everything you guys probably... I think almost everyone picked Dell. Um, and if they didn't, they probably picked JD to save Marcus's feelings. Yes. For the same reason we did. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> so we, 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 we saved did, JD. Yeah, we did both. Like I said, oh, yeah. we did Dell all the way through. And then we did JD. And then we did JD all the way through. What do you prefer? Exactly. I think that's everyone's. There is no I think, win, I think, here. Because I'm both are s- great characters. God, yes. Oh, my God. I, I love Dell's sarcasm. I like I, I, I like him. He's so cool. And then JD, I mean, he could be a prick sometimes, but he's, he is pretty cool, too. Like, yeah, he, I loved I, it. It I made me it. like him in 4, was, come back he, in this yeah, one. I loved him in 4. Yeah, For so, some reason, I just really God, it was so hard. And, I mean, his dad is Marcus Phoenix, mm-hmm. so I'm like, having to choose Literally, this. you just want to save Marcus. I want to save Marcus's heart. Uh, so I had just to be clear, just in case you guys haven't played it, the endings are almost exactly the same aside from character reactions. Yeah, the actual character JD and Dell themselves are almost the exact same. Yeah, with same lines, almost the same the exact animation, same a little bit. Yeah. Um, the only thing course, that was different was Marcus's reactions 
And then and I'm gonna be his... honest, JD is JD's death feels a lot much more more impactful yeah. than Dell's. Yep. And it kind of sucks because it seems like it JD's meant to die because that is the narrative push, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. You that happens and there's Marcus, of course, feeling bad. Yeah, because throughout the whole game, you know, he's been doing stupid decisions, like at the beginning, where with the hammer dawn and his arm gets destroyed. Like, and so it's like throughout the game, it looks like he's been making bad decisions. So it mm-hmm. looks like he would be the one to die. But I was, I was literally thinking, what would Kate make in this decision? And I think she would have saved Dell. Yeah, I think so because Dell so. was her best friend. Not from her literally choosing, just more of a I just a split set, Yeah, because I mean that's the per- that's the person who's been with her throughout the whole game, right? And story pretty much, right? Yeah, uh, I would have stayed. I think I'm staying with saving JD because of Marcus. That, watching Marcus was really hard. It was really, it was. I was really surprised hard. how much it affected me. I'm being yeah. completely honest. Here. It was really hard. I was very. I mean, surprised we've had Marcus how, much how many that years now? Made me upset. Yeah. I was like, he has his wife dead, yep. his best friend dead. Yep. And now Not he his chose son? his son is dead. Like so really? Come on, has this guy everyone not been in enough? his life? Essentially, is dead. Yeah. Aside from Coltrane, <laughs> and and, oh, and actually, in one of the in one of the scenes in the game. I thought Coltrane died. Yeah, of course, right? Yeah, you get the fake out where he uh, gets oh, eaten by the Kraken. My. Oh, God. It, uh, it's kind of hard to tell what happens to him. You just really see the robot break and yep. nothing happens to him. And then he comes back at the very end. Just the reaction of Marcus. He's like, no. No. And then gets in the truck and drives away. Yep. It's like, oh, God, dude, this game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's pull back a little bit. Go for it. First part, he plays JD all the way through until you hit the decision of, not decision, really, um, when he makes the decision to fire the hammer targeted at himself. Yep. And then you get the ramifications of that. Did you think that was handled well? Did you like where the story set up? Because it did look like they they gave us JD. You hit that turning point where you, you first find out he killed civilians. Yeah. And they were his friends were affected by that. They were like, really? You yeah. murdered them? And he was like, they had firebombs. Like, yeah. What was I supposed to do? And then that, that doesn't really get handled. Yeah, Which that's is kind of a plot hole a little yeah, bit. It was like, left kind of undone. Yeah, I wish there was some sort of closure. I feel like there's closure on both sides, whoever dies. Yeah, like I, if anything, I wish there was maybe like a flashback to sh- to, uh, to have seen that. Or yeah, like that would even, be nice or something. Yeah, like yeah. let's say there was a flashback and you would have like played it or do something, mm-hmm. hey, but nothing. Mm-hmm. It just yeah, I feel I, there's a little like open door for me where I'm like, I wish there was some sort of conversation between all three of them mm-hmm. that sat down and they're like, Blah blah this blah blah that and and you kind of get like a okay they're all together again you know like in yeah, a yeah. weird friendship kind of way. Um, Foz, the newest addition to the yep. squad. Yep. Uh, played Delta by Rahu Kohli. I follow him on Twitter. He's awesome. Mm-hmm. He was on High Zombie. That's how I know him. Yep. I like High Zombie. Um, fantastic. Yep. Do you think? You like agree? The, uh, you, the Rahu voice Kohli's or the Foz character? Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Huh? No, he's no, he's super cool. I liked him. Yeah, I liked him a lot. Uh, funny, hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and the banter of Dell, hilarious. Yep. Oh my god. Um, That's why it's like going back to the 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 choosing scene. Right. Foz was more impacted. Oh god, yes. To Dell's death than he did with JD's death, and it's weird because he was with JD throughout the pretty much the game, and it does seem like he is more affected by Dell's yeah. death than. It's just so other. weird, but it, I'm like, it is a little weird, but we are we're comparing two stories that not aren't really meant to be yeah. compared i guess it's just I don't weird know. we're in a weird yeah it's weird i agree um but i love Foz. love his addition yep uh we went over the guns love the guns of course um from this point yeah we hit the scene uh carmine new carmine was there yep what is it lisa liza she, liza liza carmine was, yeah so, of course the carmine Carmine's had to die and but sucks murdered. that was her do you th- i did like what they did with jd being this making a large mistake having affected him i do too months past his arm still destroyed i wish we got a little more on that too yeah but you know i kind of like that they don't explain anything i think because i think if they over explained oh, i would have been complaining that they over explained it so i don't think there's a win win yeah um but uh that was awesome the tech he's wearing on his arm is kind of cool it looks like maybe they give him some sort it's of it's like an insulin yeah, not insulin not but insulin, like but, um morphine uh, morphine thank you yeah it's a probably like a morphine take shot take away the, the, the pain, pain. Um, what did you, so you played as Dell the whole time, like you yes, said, I, did. I played as Kate. Yep. What did you think of the flashback scenes I was seeing and you were not? 
it's it was, it was that it was crazy. Did you not because, like that? Did you like it? Um, yes and no, because I would like to see what was going on, but I like that it. I I'm not experiencing, or my I, experience is different from yours because you're pretty much Kate, you're and nailing you're it seeing on the head. it, nailing it, and on I'm Dell, and I'm like, I'm literally feeling the same way he does. It's just like, whoa, what's happening to you? That, okay, that's a that. Was, so I like that. We had a very unique experience. I don't think we've ever had in a game. Yeah, no. Where something happens, I'm like, dude, this is happening. You're and like, I'm like, oh, what, what else? What else is happening? And like, I'm like dude, explaining you, you the scene. Yeah, and and then um. And then you'll usually snap me out of it. I'm like, oh my god, that was terrifying. Yeah. Because there were some that were legitimately like, oof, that's scary. Ones with their mother being dead and being. Yeah. See, now I want to go back to play and play as Kate, so mm-hmm. I can look at the cutscenes. Yeah, yeah. It, those were really cool moments because we had kind of like a shared thing where I get to explain what happened, mm-hmm. and you were like, oh wow, that so that's what happened and stuff like that. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, are you confused about the mother? A little. How is she both because, dead and alive? So I'm guessing her human body's dead. Yes, because so she's now controlled yeah, because just by the locust. In four, her body was connected to the hive, and she died. I think I, she gets stabbed. I think she stabs her with a knife. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Well, there's. I think that's. The, well, that's the thing. That's pretty much the point. She was connected to the hive, and Kate was pretty much killed her in the cave, and then she walked out. Remember, that's when she had the necklace. Um, right. They didn't, uh, yeah, but they didn't really. I don't think they really showed it. But yeah, I think that the hive still had her body, and then the queen took just took over it, which is weird. I don't know. It's hard to explain. I think her locust body came through. Yeah, when connected to the hive, that's why she looked so weird mm. originally. Yeah, killing her probably just fastened the progress mm. because it completely maybe eliminated her human mind. So now she's fully swarm. Oriented. I well, I don't think it's her at all. I think it's the grandmother uh, um, controlling her body, Mira's body. Eh, it still says Reina, though. I would feel like she'd be well, called Well, because they Mira. don't know that it's the queen, but I, I'm saying I think it is. Mm. I think that's she's not pretending bad. as Reina. I think she... Wait, did it say theory. Reina or Mira? They say Reina. Oh, why it says Queen Mira. I'm, thi- I'm thinking... Mira's the other one that's yeah. dead. The grandma. From three. The gr- oh. Yes, grandma. Okay. Yes, yes. The grandma. Which we we just glanced on a topic, the whole scene with her trying to find out who she is, mm-hmm. goes to the lab, abandoned now for f- years, decades, mm-hmm. finds out that they've been, they originally made, I guess, tests on this girl to try and figure out w- uh, what happens when you put them towards emotion, mm-hmm. emotion. From three. <clears throat> yeah. Emotion was a big thing in three. It was basically kind of like a wheel in yeah. a way. It was one and three. Um, eject her with a lot of emotion and nothing would happen to her ever. Yeah. So she becomes a scientific anomaly. They just keep shoving emotion in her and nothing ever happens. She then and They then notice she doesn't age correctly. So she, then she turns out to be uh, Mira, which that turns out to be her, Kate's grandmother, Mm-hmm. And her mother is the daughter of Mira, making them entwined with the locusts. Yep. Basically. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, it's so crazy. And then you, when you're during the lab, like all those uh, gear soldiers and locusts and stuff are like frozen. That was terrifying. Yeah. Cool though. Yeah, yeah. Like that the, was really cool. Yeah. And the, what is it called? The the uh, the big the big one the big berserker one what is it called? Um, God. it starts with an M. Yeah, uh, mother. No, not mother. It's like a big name. Well, my mind, my mind wants to say Marauder, but like something like that. But it's not here. Here's five. Yeah, look up M. um here. I have the thing right here. Make ma- matriarch. 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 That thing was. That's why nuts. It, that means mother. So that's oh, okay. why I thought. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a dormant berserker called the matriarch. Mm. Yeah, and then. Kate uses that to sever the hive mind, but that wakes up Reyna in the process. Mm-hmm. So Reyna was dead in a way, but she was dead in the hive mind. Yeah. Not really dead, I guess. She was sleeping in the hive mind. This connection with the matriarch wakes her, wakes them up. They get up, uh, and this is all in Niles' lab again. And then this is, yeah, so we're going to, at that point, you're pretty close to the end of the game. You hit the Vascar, um, where the whole area. You, uh, let's back up. Okay. The open world <clears throat> aspects. 
Love, hate it. Was, it. Uh, I, it was so fun. Love being it. on that skiff. We, we were on the skiff, looking, driving around. Mm-hmm. Love, that, love that you can store weapons on there. Oh yeah, that's so, yeah, that was so cool. I get to switch between my long and shot you can and do the, and you can use it twice. We're on the ice yeah. place, and then there's the desert one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what did you think of the ice place? That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I think we we like almost everything. About yeah. This yeah. Game. So the the desert one was a little terrifying though, because we could hit a point where there's storms. The storms. Were and there terrifying. was a bunch of lightnings, really? and then it seemed hard to navigate. You were driving most of the time. Yeah, it well it seems to pull you in. Yeah, well, when when the tornado comes down, it's a, like a fire tornado. The thing, yeah, it, it pulls you in, but then they form like right in front of you. So when I try to turn, as it pulling me, so I go sideways, and then another one forms. So that one pulls me in closer because it's like it's just weird. So yeah, and then they're like when you when the lightning hits the sand, some sciency stuff happens with the sand, and it makes like these like crystal trees. It makes like iron. Yeah. Or no glass, sorry. Glass, yeah. It heats it up so fast it turns mm-hmm. into glass. So it was, and those pop up and I crash into that. But after a while I got hung up. Yeah, you got used to it. Yeah, I got used to it. So, but yeah, it was at first it was I'm like, oh no. It Shout was out to the Coalition for this because this was fantastic game. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we get into all of that. We do the whole rocket sequence. Um, side missions were awesome in the game too. We didn't yeah. touch that yet. Side missions were really fun. Um, it, it gave me that check mark feel. Because it was perfectly on the map, and once mm-hmm. you do it, a little check mark comes, yep. and it feels really accomplishing. So you just keep on, keep on getting those little check marks. Yep, feels great. Um, then we move on to, uh, yeah, you get all the hammer on up, and then you move into them attacking the city. Do, so, do you like finding? Do you like fighting DBs? The robots. Um, eh. they're all, they're. Eh. Yeah, I don't love it or hate it. Yeah. Um, the chainsaw. I just use the chainsaw the whole time. Yeah. So it kind of broken. Yeah, like, like if you want to argue, like it's not challenging. So mm-hmm. I'm literally just what about the revving my lancer and then just tearing through each one that comes in. The yeah. ones I don't like fighting, the but flock? I think it's because it's hard. no. I think what? it's because it's hard. Is the DB with the the machine gun. Oh the big yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just because it's hard. I think, but yeah. that one is like. Ugh, hate this thing because it takes so long to the kill the swarm flock thing that's supposed to like impersonate you, the crow so you don't like that one i do and i don't because i'm like oh god they're like terrifying because there's so many of them and like they just like if they hit you they'll go mm. and they need to kill you mm. but yeah. i'm trying to debate which one's worse the krill or these things i think the krill's worse the krill was worse i think because you, you don't can't really fight, fight them yeah they just, they just in murder the you if you're not in the light yeah oh, and they killed you fast yeah like instant. it was literally just Ow. <laughs> yep. like, like you couldn't mess up yeah and it's crazy because i don't remember what happened to the crow were they connected to the locust yep okay that's, that's basically why. the same thing i think okay. um yeah so then you yeah we're getting to the point where you hit the town you set up all the beacons then mm. once you set the beacons up here comes random mm. you get the choice boom boom pick which one you want to kill and then they uh go once you're hitting the wall to defend it Huge Kraken comes up. Kraken mm-hmm. messes uh, up Coltrane. He's out of the picture. You don't know if he's alive or dead. You now have to fight this guy while holding off the wall, slowly killing this thing. Once you kill it, you realize you have you don't have a sufficient firepower. The railgun isn't doing it. It's out of power, so you don't know what to do. And then the uh, Kate says, just fire the hammer at me. And he goes, no, that's going to level the entire city. I can't. I need something to lock on. Mm-hmm. And then um, Jack hears Ooh, all of this. Good old boy, Jack. Jack hears all of this and then hacks remotely mm-hmm. into the satellites and tells it to shoot at his location. He goes inside to the Kraken's mouth, yep. sits there, and then explodes just, the Kraken. Damn, it's crazy. Probably the worst death in the whole game was Jack. Was Jack. <laughs> Jack, yeah. Yeah, that, that hurt. Well, because you can see him just bolt into the mouth, and he's like, ah. he's He looks so cool. He's like, I got this. And yep. then goes in there, and then... And I was then so upset. I was like, The no. entire thing... It is gone, and there's a giant crater now. Even yeah, even Beard, he he was like, "No, Jack." That was, yeah, poof. it was so good though. Good, such a good way to to end that, right? This mm-hmm. like a big old exclamation point at the end, mm-hmm. and then you get the scene. She's standing there alone. Everyone's alone. getting everybody's up. Huddled everyone's up. looking. Everyone's licking brushing their wounds. Off, make sure brushing off all the dust. Make sure everyone's alive. Yep. And then looks you out. See- she's staring out into the distance. Um. No, sorry. There in the distance, yeah. she's alone. Mm-hmm. And then Marcus looks over and tells, and her, to tells her to come over. over. That, and, that was cool. He yeah, was like, come and, over here. Yeah, she goes, talks to him, takes the necklace, rips it off, throws it. Yep. 
So she, yeah, so she doesn't. She's like, she's, I'm not yeah, I'm a yeah, cog. Yeah, which do you like that the basically we found answers. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the answer she wanted. Yeah, which is cool. I think because it just shows you like, a if you look for the answers, you ain't gonna like what you find. Yeah, but she knows now. Mm-hmm. So I'm curious if that will play into six. With her now knowing she can control Swarm, but they don't really want to do that. Um, we did gloss over the, um, uh, I think it was Act 2. Yeah, now, it was Act 2 where, remember, I I actually controlled the Swarm when I was captured and now connected see, to the Hive. You were having visions before that scene. Yes. Do you think when you were having Which the visions... Which was vis- Yeah, when you were having the visions, do you think the Queen Mirror was, contr- was like kind of controlling the, the she Swarm wasn't alive through yet. you? She wasn't She wasn't alive yet. Okay. Because she, the only reason Raina, well, then how are not you Mira, have, that's Raina, what I'm Raina, yeah, Raina that's what I mean. becomes, is when I connect to Matriarch. Oh, okay. Matriarch does that purposely yeah, to yeah, wake yeah. up Raina. Because gotcha. Raina is stuck in the hive mind because she doesn't have a body. I assume when she's woken up, she assumes a body and then can actually control Swarm. Because the, the reason the Swarm are rapidly just fighting things is because mm-hmm. they don't have a queen. So they're just misguided. They're like ants. They just fight and have no direction. Mm-hmm. When uh, they want her, her to be the hive, uh, what's his face? Niles wants someone to be uh, someone just so because he has this weird fascination with the, mm-hmm. controlling the hive. So when she was connected, she was the queen for that point, mm-hmm. but she couldn't control it. I don't think you're meant to control it. I think okay. you just you control them, yeah. but they still do their own bit. I'm just wondering who or what triggered the visions. Because if me if Raina was still dead, it was her part of the hive. It just it just hitting started. her brain. Okay, it, because she she's still being affected by the swarm part of her, mm. probably because her parents her, were like both instincts hives. in a way yeah. type of thing. I think she was being. I think basically the hive were calling to her to become the queen, basically. Mm-hmm. And then once the, Raina became queen, they don't need her anymore. Mm-hmm. So she, no more visions. I can't remember. Did they say if she had a father? Yeah. You just know that they left. Okay. We know she has a father. We have no idea who or where he went. And he was... She says uh, he was... He he was a human, right? You assume? Reyna said the... The only quote we got from Reyna... Or no, it wasn't even from Reyna. Reyna told her Mm -hmm. that she asked about her father, and all I know is he was a bad guy. That's it. Mm. Never, she's never seen him. The only one I assume who knows who her father is is Reyna. What if it's General Ram? <laughs> General Ram's corpse brought back to life. Well, it was like years ago. I'm so. assuming it's a human, though. I don't think it's a. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, well, I don't so think then that's the locus, all that stuff was if it was from the all that emotion stuff. What? Well, that's how she's part locus from all that emotion from. I don't the, think she's part locus. I think she's able to become a, a queen. Mm. She and just, control she, so she's, them with her head. So she's just like, um, think of it as a superpower. Yeah, yeah, it's an easy way of thinking about. It. Just she has the superpower to control the swarm if put in that place. Now, control I think is not the correct word because she even says she, when she was put in the swarm and killed Oscar, mm-hmm. she couldn't control that. Yeah, yeah. But she knew she was doing it, yeah. which is weird. She, she just has the which, ability to do it, I guess. Yeah. Because she was being the swarm. She just can't control the instincts yeah. of killing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Similar to maybe Joker or you know, yeah, like yeah, Mad Man. Yeah. yeah. Interesting stuff. I feel like we could talk about this for hours. It's awesome. I love I love this stuff. Um, Metacritic PC 83, Xbox 185. Um, I'd probably go a little higher. Nine. Love this mm-hmm. game. If I had to score. Yeah. Be nine, 9.5 maybe. Um, now, the biggest thing for the next game. Do you think they're going to incorporate this death that you have to choose from? Have to, right? Now, do you how do you think they're going to do it? Do you think they're going to be like, let's say you got Dell to survive? They're going to have Dell show up and you play th- with Dell again, or or like vice versa? I think if you it's had just JD, a or is it just going to be you're going to play different people and then the cutscenes would affect like like for example, like how you did in Mass Effect or Dragon Age, depending on who lived or died, it affects the next game. Yeah, one hundred percent. Oh, okay. Uh, I would. Th- I assume they wouldn't put this choice in. Not. Yeah, that's why I was saying. I'm hoping yeah. that they do make it to where it affects the next game, not just blow it off. 
I see what you're saying because that does happen. I know people are like, well, why would they tell you to do yeah, it? If they, because it, that does happen. It's happened in games where like you make a big decision and, and then, then they make the next it to where like, the next game doesn't matter because they just like for instance they just kill JD if you saved JD in the next game like the very beginning. Yeah. So now you only have one game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, I'm yeah. just trying to have the audience understand that we're not asking dumb questions. Yeah, yeah, no, because <laughs> it's, it's I forgot which game, but like there's been games where Telltale. They, I mean Telltale, right? It, like there are good decisions, but mm-hmm. there are a lot of decisions that are, is there, what's the point? Is a three tree that mm-hmm. goes into one outcome. Yeah. Right. So it's more of an illusion yeah, like whichever, of choice whatever than anything. Do, it just so the, it, yeah, it's yeah. the same. Because you can look up a lot of Telltale things. Just type in, I don't want this to happen. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It has to happen. Yeah. So that's a way of like it not being fulfilled. I do think they'll do it, especially since they got, I mean, it's it's Xbox and Coalition. I know, mm-hmm. They know what they're doing. I'm sure they yeah. they already got like, hey, I'm going to make the decision. We're going to have to fix it in the next game. They're like, whatever. Yeah. Do, do you? They, hey, this game got rave reviews. Now they're even better. Now they're like, do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Yep. But yeah, God, it was fun. So good. I, I still want to go back and play Escape and a little bit of Horde. or Because yeah, I tried online. We did not play Escape or Horde. I did play Escape once. Mm-hmm. It was fine. Yeah. Um, there were issues. I didn't, I didn't connect with anyone, mm-hmm. which was really weird. I just played by myself, and that thing is not fun by yourself. <laughs> you don't have enough ammo. It, it, yeah. it, Lord, it was hard. Yeah, I play online, and everybody just gnashes you in the face, and it's hard for me to even fuck. It, it, it's a whole, different, like, yeah. a whole different game. Yeah, because I'm like I'm or trying to get into game. cover or dodge row out of cover, and people just like can aim at me instantly. I'm like, how <laughs> I aim at you first? <laughs> All right, Alex, that's it. That's our spoiler cast. What did you guys think? Comment below, tweet at us, Instagram, whatever, whatever you tickles your fancy in social media terms. Um, if you like our content, please, again, if you're a freeloader, go over to all of our YouTubes, our SoundClouds, all that stuff. Give us the reviews, the the five stars, the five androids, the clouds, mm-hmm. all these things. If you want to give us some money, we'll always take money. Go over to patreon.com slash GG Achievers. Help us out. Give us a buck. Just shows us that you want to support. Give us 60 bucks, and I'll dress ch- uh, Alex as Chun-Li. Yep. Yeah. I'll, I'll make it work. 100 bucks. Yeah, now, a thousand. Give us twenty thousand dollars. Like spoiler casts, <laughs> and you want to hear a game that we might have played already? Let us know which game it is, and we'll see. We'll please, we probably played it. And I, you know, I'm gonna let you guys into something. I'm thinking about a series of these similar things where we rank a series. Yeah. Totally ripping off a podcast I listen to. If you're interested, do it at me. Say you want to hear. For instance, we rank and play all of Gears games, and tell them like what we think, mm. stuff like that. Brainstorming. Yep. We just call it. We just call it. Uh, this is a. Uh, it's gonna be ours. Patent. You know, pending. Yeah. Uh, rank it up. Rank it. Oh. Okay. Oh. He, he, uh, ladies and gentlemen, he just blew that on me with no. I did not know he was about to say that. It's good. <laughs> That's actually really good. Rank it up. Okay. All right. Again, thank you so much for listening. Y'all have a good one. You too.